hello and welcome to another unboxing or should I say another unbagging this time it's the cult beauty fragrance discovery kit it costs 20 pounds and it's worth 60 but along with the kit you get a 20 pound online voucher or digital voucher rather that you can spend at cult beauty's site on fragrance now I did have to pay delivery charges for this one, I think it was £2.95 for standard delivery but if I had spent £25 then I would have got uh, delivery free which should have been the thing I did really, I didn't think about it at the time. Okay so I'm going to go through the products one by one, I've already unboxed them or unbagged them. There's, they're not just perfumes, now with perfumes I have been wearing those all day so I can give you a proper update on what I actually think of them from the start to this point now which is probably well it's probably been about five or six hours but let's start with the first product which is actually a candle and it's Joe by Joe Loves and it's a votive size candle it was 70 grams a full size one would be 185 grams and 55 pounds Cult Beauty says expertly formulated by the English scent maverick behind some of the world's most adored fragrances this Jo Malone candle emits an intriguing aroma of grapefruit, bitter orange, lime and spearmint that will enliven any space. So I did have a little smell of this before um, just to see what I did think so I could pick up anything that I could say to you and it does smell of grapefruit but there is another smell in there and I can't put my finger on it it's not any of the things that were listed the mint the lime don't even think it's the orange it must be one of them but there's just another sort of perfumey smell in there which is really nice it does remind me of a perfume but I can get the grapefruit as well which is one of my favorite smells in perfume candles anything to be honest with you so that's a good start the next one is another candle and this is by Nest and it's the New York Amalfi Lemon and Mint candle. It's uh, 27 grams, 230 gram size would be £43 on Cult Beauty. And this is cleverly formulated for an even longer lasting burn and has a citrusy, zesty citrus and mint scent that will transport you to the Italian coast. This candle will create a warm, welcoming environment for everyone that crosses through your home. Now, when I first read the description, I thought, well, that sounds exactly the same as the other candle, but it's really not. Um, it's completely different. I mean, they sound like they should be the same. They're both zesty. They've mentioned mint, but they smell so, so different. I'm not sure which one I like the most. This has a, sm a really gorgeous fresh fresh smell I think this one's more perfumed and this one's fresher I love them both to be honest with you they're absolutely fantastic candles and I'm really pleased with that that one's interesting isn't it because it's got a very shiny almost balm like texture at the top I wonder if it's the heat but it's so it's a very interesting texture anyway on to the next product so the next one is by Gisu and it's the Deluxe Honey Infused Hair Perfume and it's 4 mils. A 50 ml version of this is £34 on the Court Beauty site. So Court Beauty says Gisu's Honey Infused Hair Perfume is a delicate hair fragrance enriched with Mesalahi honey. Enjoy a seductive trace of their signature feminine fragrance every time you swish around your strands. Lightly floral but never sickly or overpowering. The fragrance is inspired by the brand's Misalehi Bee Garden. The formula is, of course, infused with honey too, meaning your hair is enriched with strengthening, shine-giving antioxidants, vitamins and amino acids. Now, I haven't tried this one out. I haven't even smelt it yet, so it's all wrapped up still in the packaging. I thought I'd give this one a sort of on-the-spot try. And that's what it looks like. So there's not a lot of it. I'm probably not going to get much more than a couple of uses out of that. So oh, just bear with me a second. I'm on my own. The dogs are off again. I won't be a minute. Sorry about that. I think that might happen a few more times. It's the kind of time of day when uh, lots of people are walking their dogs. So I've got a feeling that's going to happen again. Right. So this is what it looks like. Um, 
I'm going to try it on straight onto my hair, I think, just on the one side. Let's see where the Actually, no, I'm not because, yeah, I need to see how it works first. Okay. Sorry, I was pulling a horrible face there, wasn't it? But I didn't want it to go in my eye. Okay. Wow, that's got a very intense, very intense smell. And it's really rather lovely. I mean, I've never had a, a sort of hair perfume. I'm not one that sort of doesn't do anything else. I suppose it says it gives you shine, doesn't it? And I have had those before. Um, that smells beautiful. Again, it's very citrusy. I can get oranges or something there. Um, I don't know. It's meant to be floral, isn't it? But it smells fruity. It's really, really nice. I love that. That is gorgeous. And if it does make my hair shinier, then it's even better. I just wish there was a little bit more of it. But this is a bit of a testing kit, isn't it? It's a try before you buy one. OK, we're going to move on now to the fragrances. Now, as I say, I tried them all earlier. There's three of them. They're varying sizes. And I'm going to do the first one um, for a specific reason, actually, which I'll tell you about in a bit. So it's by Laboratory Perfumes and it's the Deluxe Amber Eau de Toilette 5ml, 100ml size of this would be £80. The brand says Amber follows the wearer through their day, evolving as the hours pass and bringing out different component notes as the tempo changes. Its dynamic burst of grassiness and greenery matches the energy of morning, subtly maturing into rich spice as the day continues Closing notes of warm, earthy wood and balmy ambergris bring a more, more subdued, reflective tone to the fragrance as evening draws in. Okay, so I tried this on this morning and my first impressions were not great. It reminded me very much of a sort of an aftershave type smell or a perfume, a very heady perfume from the 80s, something like that. I didn't like it at all. However, it has mellowed. And it's mellowed into a very, very subtle, to be honest, it's not that strong now. But it's a very subtle sort of woody sort of smell, I would say. And it's all right. It's OK. It's just that the first whiff of it is not one that I particularly like. But it's quite interesting because the, the next one after that, um, well, I'll tell you when we get to it, but it's a different story. So I'm going to give it an initial spray again so I can explain what I mean to you. That went a bit everywhere. So, yeah, it's really strong and it's just it's just got that sort of after male smell. It's not horrible. It's just not something that I would choose to wear. So, yeah, the initials of that, not good. But it did mellow out. However, it wasn't something that really, really grabbed me. So I probably wouldn't get that one. Now, I don't think you have to use your £20 voucher on these specific perfumes. Um, but I was thinking of doing that. However, I don't think I would get it on that one. And I'm not sure now on the next one either, because it's a shame. The next one started out as such an amazing one. So it's by Fugazi fragrances and it's a travel size orange crush eau de parfum and it's 10 mils and you can actually buy this size from court beauty and it's 26 pounds so they say exuding the summertime fields of freshness color and excitement in one bespoke bottle orange crush eau de parfum sparks skin like warmth reminiscent of a summer's day and the brand says orchestrated around just three main ingredients one iso e super two white amber and three orange applied in an in abundant way. The effect is a warm, fresh, soothing fragrance that will only intensify the longer it's on, on. In other words, an orange made of velvet. To intensify the fresh, fruity feeling, the orange is supported by bergamot, citrus and blackcurrant to deepen the soft, slightly sensual feel. Iso E Super is being pushed by oak, moss, ambrette and musk. So for me, when I first heard the description of this, I thought, well, this is going to be the one that I love. And when I first put it on, it really was. But it has changed. And now it's 
smells more like that first one which is the bit I didn't like so it's really interesting so yeah it's not quite the same but there is a definite similarity there and it's a shame because the the beginning of this one is my ideal perfume honestly my ideal so I'll just give it a little spray so I can get that first whiff that I had before yeah yeah it's it is it's orangey it's like freshly squeezed orange juice when you're in a hot island somewhere and it's it's beautiful it's a beautiful beautiful smell but then it does change I think I need to sort of spray it separate to where the other one was actually so let's do it on the back here yeah it's beautiful I love that initial smell um so I don't know with that one I think it's again it's one that I might not end up purchasing okay on to the last one which is a tiny little sample size it came in a really nice little um packet but it is very 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 small and it is the Memo Paris Deluxe Martha Eau de Parfum. It's 0 0.8 mils. This one is expensive. And if you were to get 75 mils of it, it's £225. Taking inspiration from the white hot landscape of Texas, this striking scent commands attention with a bewitching blend of tuberose, absolute vanilla seed, orange blossom, absolute musk and an agave accord. So I had to look at what agave was actually, I'm sure other people know, but it's a plant found in parts of the US as well as Mexico, Central and South America, the Mediterranean and India. And the leaves and roots of agave are used to make medicine. So this one was probably the nicest as a whole throughout the day of the three of them because it started off quite nice and subtly um, sort of slightly floral now I've got to be careful with this because it's just got a big pour at the top and every time I open it it just goes everywhere which it just did but I'm just going to so I can still smell it on there it's quite musky now uh, it does actually remind me of something but the thing it reminds me of isn't very very expensive <laughs> it reminds me of um, one of my favorite perfumes when I was a teenager I'm gonna to have to be careful now because I can't Bear with me, the lid's fallen and I need to put it on because it is going to spill, I think. Okay, it kind of reminds me of like white musk that I used to get from the body shop, which obviously it's much stronger in depth and it lasted all day, which white musk never did. But um, it's got that kind of feeling to it for me, the musky sort of perfume, which I do really like um, musky sort of perfumes. So for me, I think on a whole, for both start of the perfume and end of the perfume, that's probably the winner for me. Unfortunately, it's very expensive, so I'm probably not going to get it. The other ones, the Fugazi one, um, that, as I say, the start of it was amazing. And yeah, I can smell it now. It's just so beautiful, that smell. I wish they could capture it all day, but it ended up a bit not so great for me and the amber one started off not so great and ended up okay so I don't think I'm going to get any of those I have been thinking though and what I'm probably going to do is get a, another sort of discovery set if I can if I can use it for that because there was um, some nice little discovery sets that I saw on there anyway while I was looking so that's what I'm going to hopefully do with it but if not I'll let you know I hope you enjoyed this one. It's still available as far as I know. And like I say, £20. It's really nice, isn't it? And I particularly like that you get the candles as well. And that hair oil, hair perfumes, different and really nice. And the perfumes are lovely too. And I will wear them again, especially the very expensive one. Uh, no, it wasn't that one, was it? The little expensive one. 
hope you enjoyed this video i hope you come back for more there will be more i'm sure and i hope you have a fabulous fabulous day evening night wherever you are take care bye bye